guys, this is Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you, not live, but recorded, uh, talking to you about the new release of the 2019 Top Series 1 set, and I'm going to start off right off the bat and show you guys all the cards that I got uh, that I am super pumped and excited about. I bought five of the Jumbo Packs, and here are all the cards that I got that I'm super excited about. Yeah, that many of them. I was super excited about that many of them in five jumbo packs. Uh, the set is not horrible. It's not great. I'm not even sure I would call it good. Um, and maybe this is my own bias. Uh, some people describe it as being back into the junk era of cards, uh, which to be honest with you, oh, this way, um, I've got a few. Uh, there's more down below. There's more over here as well. And I still have some more at my parents house that I haven't quite fit into my shelves yet. Uh, so I have a ton of cars from the junk era. That's when I collected the most. I was a kid at that time and I loved it. I loved it. Um, had getting all those cards was fun. But at the same time, I, I understand why it wasn't the, the prime era of baseball card collecting. Um, because you could, you know, get whatever you wanted to pretty cheap and especially now i think i just bought i think i showed these the other day i bought these um at a card shop in portland uh in the fall paid five bucks five bucks for it um also paid let me see if i can reach it five bucks for these completely full so uh i know what the junk air is all about i kind of like it in some aspects but in other aspects, if you're trying to sell uh, cards on eBay, which I do, so does Kelly, uh, this set doesn't seem particularly beneficial to that. Um, so I will show you, I mean, I did get a few cards that are cool. Um, got a couple cards that kind of have that, that chrome shimmer look to it. Uh, let's see if I can get, there you go. So not bad, you know, we've got couple of those they're kind of cool nothing special then you got these other cards that have the uh, 150 years of professional baseball kind of little stamp thing on it um, so you know interesting the throwback version ones uh, they have the 35 35th anniversary, anniversary um, stamp on it I got those and what's interesting is uh, you know, these are these are decent players. I mean, Chris Davis, Will Myers, Noah Syndergaard. But even opening those, I was kind of like, oh, great. Um, you know, I did get a a Ted Williams kind of a you know way back with the kind of throwback cards. Got a Piazza one, which is cool. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. Uh, of the regular cards, I did get you know Tani rookie card. So. Um, you know, that, that's worth all of a dollar or something like that. But the cards don't have a horrible look to them. I mean, they, they don't. Uh, so I'll give you guys one of the regular ones. So this is one of the regular versions. So you kind of see the names off to the side, team logo. One side has the border, the other side doesn't. Um, so that part of it, um, you know, some people set up the kind of look off center, but I don't mind that for autographs, which is one of the reasons why I get cards. Um, besides selling cards on eBay. Uh, Autograph-wise, these are actually pretty nice cards. I kind of like uh, the look of them. But overall, I'm, they do remind me in some ways of the junk era. You get these insert cards that, you know, great, they're, they're nice, but they're not fancy. There's nothing I can really return and sell on, on eBay. But again, this is a base, this is Series 1 tops, the regular sets, so you know, I wasn't expecting anything too fancy, but the cards I got, you know, guys, I'm like, oh, okay. The cards aren't worth any more than the regular commons. And then the cards I hate the most, hate the most. I've hated these for years. I still hate them. And that is the stadium cards. Cards of Washington National Stadium or St. Louis or Seattle or San Francisco. When I buy baseball cards, I want to buy cards of the players not cards of the stadium because once again one of the reasons why i buy cards is for autographs tell me how i get the washington nationals 
you know, stadium to sign the card for me. Now, I know some people will use that for like a generic card for any player who's with the team. Uh, you can have them sign that and you say, oh yeah, they signed a card. Maybe they didn't have a card. Um, a lot of minor leaguers don't have cards yet. And so that's a cool and easy way instead of doing one of those autograph card things that um, actually use those quite a bit. But at the same time, it's a stadium card. And in those five jumbo packs, I think I got like 11 of them. So that's a lot of cards I would much rather have had a player on uh, of some nature. And, you know, even the insert cards, you know, I didn't get an autograph card. That's understandable. I didn't get a jersey card. Those are rare things you're not going to get in every pack. So I'm fine with that. But putting a little stamp on, on a card and then saying, okay, there you go. It's your special one. That, that doesn't make it special. That just, it just doesn't. So overall, not a horrible set, but like I said, the set looks nice. I do like the look of the set. The set has a, a nice color, great picture. Some of the pictures I saw of the players were really good, really good. I love the, the images, but that doesn't make a set great. You know, there's lots of cards in the past, lots of sets in the past that have had great images um, and are great for other reasons. So this one, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'll probably go back to buying just more heritage cards, and I like to buy the minor league heritage cards, uh, just because you know I do a lot of stuff with minor leagues and that type of stuff, like the uh, Arizona Fall League. Got minor league baseball here in the Northwest, so I enjoy doing that a lot. But so this set, will I buy more packs? I might. I might. Um, but I really haven't talked with anyone who's super excited about what they've gotten so far. Uh, in their packs. I know Kelly got his and he was a little underwhelmed like me. Uh, I know uh, William wrote a guest post for the website about his thoughts on the on the set and he was I would say a little more critical of it than even I am which is uh, saying something because this is an okay set. C maybe C plus um, but I don't go to the card store to buy C cards. I go to the card store to buy A and B. So um, you know, I might buy another pack if I'm at Target or Walmart and I got a few bucks in my wallet or my wife isn't looking and throwing in the cart, that type of stuff, but not going there just to buy more. No. So guys, that's my review of the Tops uh, 2019 Series 1. If you guys want to help support the 90 Know It All website, uh, help us to grow the game of baseball, we have a link in our description for our Patreon account. You can go down there. And you can become a supporter of ours each month, whether it's two dollars a month, five, ten dollars, any little bit helps us. Our goal is to want to keep the website going. We take a lot of photos of players at games, uh, high school, college, some more bad minor league games. Uh, one to promote the players to kind of encourage them, but also for the families. And I've had emails from family members who live across uh, on the East Coast who don't get to watch their son play minor league baseball for the first time but they get to see my photos. So I love doing that for the families. I love providing that service. Also, we wanna sponsor teams and we wanna sponsor scholarships for players who can't afford to play. So, you know, I can't do that on my own. I don't make that much money. Really don't make any money with 90 Know It All. Um, all the money that I get for 90 Know It All goes back into uh, baseball or the site. Um, I work from home doing other jobs. So um, don't have a lot of money to do it on my own. That's why I need supporters to come along join up with me and allow me to uh, combine all of our resources to benefit the game of baseball, uh, both locally where I'm at, but also regionally and across the nation. So guys, think about it, $2 a month, come on, that's that's a pop. I mean, really, it's, it's a pop at once a month from the minute mark. So if you can give that up, I know it's tough, I love pop, but if you can give that up and give me $2 a month, then I know it all, I will turn that around and use that to help uh, promote and encourage the game of baseball, as well as to benefit young players and organizations and teams um, as they try and you know keep going to strive to grow and to reach a new fan base. So guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All. That was my review. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.